Congratulations on your new Volvo 850. It's a great car. And if you're like us, you'll want to enjoy all the 850 has to offer right away. There's some items we think you'll find very interesting. We can show you on ours. We've got some errands to run, so join us and we'll show you as we go along. I'll take that for you. Oh, thanks. If your 850 is equipped with keyless remote security, you'll find it provides extra peace of mind and added convenience. It's a nice option. This little transmitter sets the locks and security system. Lock, locks the doors, and arms the alarm. Unlock, unlocks the doors, and disarms the system. It works from 10 to 15 feet away. It's very convenient when your hands are filled with packages or the weather turns nasty. Great care has gone into the design of the 850 interior, with particular attention focused on providing the best driving position. Proper driving position is important, not only for comfort, but safety as well. Correct seating position optimizes visibility, enhances control, and minimizes fatigue. You can and should set your driving position in every car you drive. The 850 just happens to make that process quite simple. First, move your seat forward and back until your legs are comfortable. This control takes care of that. To confirm proper position, you first depress the brake pedal. Your back should not lose contact with the seat back, and your feet or legs should not hit under the dashboard as you go from pedal to pedal. Vertical adjustment is basically a matter of personal preference. Set the seat height for a clear and comfortable view of the road and instruments. Once you have the seat position set, the 850 lets you save it in memory. Your 850 provides a three-position memory feature that affords one-touch reset convenience. This is very handy when more than one person drives the car. With your seat position set, press and hold the memory button. Now press the number that will save the position. It's saved. Now there's only one adjustment left to personalize your driving position, the steering wheel. Release the tilt telescope function with this lever. But remember, never do this when the car is in motion. Tilt the wheel until you're comfortable and have a clear view of the instruments. With your back against the seat, use the telescope function to position the steering wheel so you can comfortably drape your wrist over the top of the wheel. With the wheel set in this fashion, you won't lose contact with the seat back when turning. Now, lift the lever and lock the tilt telescope function. Window and mirror controls are found in the center console. Each mirror has its own control. I don't know about you, but I sometimes find myself coming up one hand short when pulling into a toll booth and fumbling for change. Not so with the 850. Simply tap the back of the window rocker switch and the driver's side window automatically lowers. I like it. And so will everyone behind you at the toll booth. <laughs> While by the console, a word about the ashtray, or for some, the snack wrapper tray. I prefer to think of them as energy supplement wrappers. To clean, just remove the insert, not the whole assembly. Open the ashtray and push gently back on the insert and lift. There. I think that about does it for startup. Keep in mind that we'll just be touching on interesting highlights and features. For an in-depth understanding of all the features of your 850 and their operation, make sure to read the owner's manual. Ready? Mm-hmm. Well, we'd better get going. Yes, I told Mom we'd be by after lunch to pick up Little Tommy. You bet. We want to stay on the good side of the world's best babysitter. <laughs> Dinner was great last night. Yes, it has been Good morning. Fill it up with premium, if you will. We put premium in our 850 
Though its electronic engine management system allows it to run on fuel with octane as low as 87. This sophisticated system actually adapts to fuel and driving style. You may even notice your 850 runs better after its first tank of gas. Another important thing to remember, before your new 850's first two scheduled services, check the oil level every time you get gas, which with the 850's large fuel capacity is about every 500 miles or 800 kilometers. Absolutely. The reason is, is that your 850's sophisticated five-cylinder engine has been designed for exceptional durability and longevity. And since the engine components have been designed to resist wear, the break-in period is longer. The checking procedure is simple. With the ignition off, wait to check the oil level until after the fuel tank is full. This gives the oil time to drain back into the pan for an accurate reading. The first step in checking the oil is opening the hood. To release the safety latch, gently lift the hood. A small T-handle will pop out. Pull the handle and lift the hood. The oil dipstick is located here. It's fine. Only add oil when it approaches the quart low mark. While you never want to be low on oil, it's not good to overfill an engine either. While we're under the hood, let's look at some other very important engine components. Engine coolant can be checked here through the translucent container, windshield wiper fluid here, and your automatic transmission fluid here. And here's where you'll find all your fuses. Your 850 has been designed to last a long time. And it will if it's serviced and properly maintained. Your first two scheduled services are at 1,500 and 5,000 miles, or in Canada, 2,400 and 8,000 kilometers. In either case, both are free and vitally important. They help protect your investment during the critical break-in period. Another important way to help protect your investment is by having your authorized Volvo dealer do the servicing. This is important because only Volvo dealers have the special tools and training to take advantage of the 850's onboard diagnostic systems. Before we go, one more important point. Tire pressure. Volvo sets tire pressure at 36 PSI for peak performance and optimum fuel economy. If you prefer a softer ride, you can lower tire pressure to 31 PSI front and 29 PSI rear. A final comment on tires, snow tires. Your 850 comes equipped with high-performance tires, optimized for comfort and handling. If you anticipate driving in a lot of snow and ice, Volvo recommends installing four snow tires. Some people question the need for snows on all wheels, and not just the drive wheels. Well, testing by Volvo engineers confirms that your car will perform best when all four tires are the same size and have the same tread design. By the way, you may have noticed the headlamp wiper washers. Their purpose is to wash off road dirt and keep the lights bright. They work automatically with your windshield washer feature. Worth mentioning here is a nice little 850 safety feature. The first time you drive, after starting the car, you may hear a little noise. This is the sound of the ABS self-diagnostic system, confirming that the ABS braking is functioning properly. It's a nice reassurance. Well, shall we take the back roads to the garden shop? Sounds good to me. There's no doubt that safety and comfort played a major role in our buying decision. But it's the open road that sold. 
The 850's quickness and responsiveness makes this car just plain fun. Our 850 has the electronically controlled automatic transmission with selectable driving modes. Winter, economy, and sport are the three driving modes. Under normal driving conditions, you choose from economy or sport. Economy provides for lower shift points and better fuel economy. It also automatically downshifts when descending long grades. Sport delivers higher shift points and quicker acceleration. Select winter for improved starting from a standstill in snowy or other poor traction conditions. Well, the day and the road are perfect for sport. And you're a pretty sporty guy. So sport it is. you may have ordered the optional Trax electronic traction control system, we did. With the winter driving conditions around here, we wanted the additional startup traction. Probably you'll never find a reason to turn it off. Air conditioning in the 850 offers a pleasant feature. Tom likes the temperature cool. I personally like it a bit warmer. With the 850, we both can have it our way. Whether you have the manual AC or the electronic climate control, there are individual controls for both driver and front passenger. Both systems require a little understanding, so let's take a look. We'll touch on the basics of both systems, but we recommend referring to your owner's manual for a thorough explanation. For our 850, we chose the optional touring package with electronic climate control. So let's start here. From your owner's manual, you'll see that the basic controls are quite straightforward, but a few points deserve special attention. First and most important is the AC off switch. If you push the switch and the light goes on, the AC is switched off. Light on, AC off. Light off, AC on. It took me a time or two, but I'm used to it now. For climate control to be fully automatic, turn this center dial to automatic. Put the fan on automatic, set the temperature, all the lights are out, and leave it alone. And remember, there are two separate controls, one for the driver and one for the front passenger. This is the driver's side temperature control. This is the control for the front passenger side. For those with manual air conditioning, you too have dual temperature controls. With the manual system, there is an AC on button. Push the button on, the light comes on, and the AC is on. Light off, AC off. Not every day is a ride in the forest, which makes this recirculation feature very pleasant. If you're behind a smoky bus, you can shut off the outside airflow and exclude fumes. This is a great road. Ever since my first car, that old TR4, I've taken every one of my cars here. Somehow the road seems smoother now. I love this 850. We know this area, but if we didn't, the 850's radio offers a real handy feature called Auto Store. Good point. How many times have you been on vacation or whatever in an unfamiliar area? How much time have you spent trying to tune in new radio stations? With your 850's auto store feature, one touch does it all. Depress the auto store FM button for about a second, and your radio logs the eight strongest FM signals in memory. Same for the AM stations with the AM button. Now press the auto store button again. It will select from the eight stored stations and play the one at the lowest end of the range. Touch the auto store button again, and it will play the next higher of the eight selected. It's great when you're away from home. One other important point about your radio. If you have the optional trunk-mounted CD changer, simply press the CD button for the radio controls to control the CD player. Check your trusty owner's manual for a detailed description of its operation. I see the turn for the garden shop ahead. Boy, that was fast. And fun.
While we love the road manners of the 850, convenience played an important factor too. Try this in a regular sedan. The rear seats fold down to significantly expand your cargo capacity. Simply release this lever here for one side, and here for the other. Be sure to move the belt to the side. The rear seats are a 60-40 split, so if you'd like to fold down one side and retain seating, fine. In the event you need more room for longer loads, like a surfboard, the 850 front seat folds down. Just lift these two levers and push the seat forward. Very handy. Back to the homestead? Sounds like a plan to me. Made great time this morning. Sure did. Everything unloaded? All clear. Good. This gives us a chance to touch on a final few very useful features. But first, let's put the seats back up. You may wonder if you can keep valuables in the trunk when valet parking because of the fold-down seats. You sure can. Just pushing down this red tab locks the seats. It's locked. The only way to unlock them is by flipping the same red tab found in the trunk. You'll notice that your 850 has two slightly different keys. The smaller key is for valet parking. It only operates the doors and the ignition. This leaves your glove compartment and trunk secure. Now what do you do if you have to have the rear seats up but you have a long item such as my dad's surf rod? Your 850 offers a handy pass-through as part of a very clever center rear armrest design. Folded down, you have a comfortable armrest. An armrest that turns into a child booster cushion. Just lift and pull the headrest forward into the lock position. It's ideal for children 50 to 80 pounds, or for our friends in Canada, 23 to 36 kilograms. Fully folded down, we can take care of my father's surf rod and close the trunk. Just press this plastic tab and pop out the panel. Long items can be passed through to extend into the cabin. It's great for fishing poles, skis, lumber, things that never fit before. Fit with ease now. And when you're done, just pop the panel back in. We've got some time for we're supposed to pick up Tommy. Let's get the child seat in now. Good idea. Always put your child seat in the rear because your 850 has a passenger side airbag. Children who need a child seat or booster cushion should never be placed in the front passenger seat. Good, that's set. By the way, this lever is the child safety lock. Push it up and the door cannot be opened by little hands from the inside. Tom? Uh -huh. I'll leave now to pick up little Tommy and drop off Dad's surf rod. Well, you know you'll be getting there a little early, huh? You folks won't be back from their morning stroller marathon. I'll find some way to fill the time. <laughs> okay. Drive safely.